Appreciate y'all for tuning in. It's your boy Gabos. We'll be back with another one. Remember, subscribe is the vibe, my boy. I mean, it is. Your boy's on the road to 4K humbly. Humbly. But yo, we got another video of boyfriend caught and exposed cheating while skydiving. Brought to you by Jack TV. Jack TV is kind of like my boy, man. He my niche. Because of Jack TV, I, it's going to sound a little crazy, but I thoroughly enjoy watching people get cheated on. I know it sounds a little messed up, and I know it happens every single day, B, because it happens every single day. People get cheated on every single day. I don't know, man. It's just something about watching it all unfold just piques my interest. So again, appreciate you guys for tuning in. We're not going to do too much talking. Let's enjoy watching someone get cheated on. You know how you click my thumbnail. Come on now. We gone. That's another episode on Jack TV. Hannah reached out to me and the team inquiring about a loyalty test that she had already started on her own. So Hannah reached out to me because she wanted to put her boyfriend Blake to the loyalty test. And Hannah already essentially started her own loyalty test on Blake by starting a fake burning account and naming it Simone. My son got a board, a chalkboard, not a chalkboard, a whiteboard. Hannah has been catfishing her boyfriend Blake for almost a month now. The only problem is she actually used her friend as the picture. So we have to reach out to her friend and see if she was capable or willing to actually be the decoy in this video. Blake is a truck driver who spends a lot of time on the road, which is why Hannah initiated her own test using her friend as the picture to create conversations to see if her boyfriend Blake will take the bait. However, Simone never agreed to any of this. She don't even know that this is going on. So now I have to ask her if she says no. This loyalty test will never happen. Drip is 100% correct. Because Hannah has already been talking to her boyfriend Blake using her friend's face to catfish him, the only way to execute this test is to get the real Simone to agree to help. Which is a reach because she has no clue that she's a part of this situation. The test will have to take place in Houston and all three of them Bro, it's 2023, so why are we still catfishing people? Like, that shit ain't played out to y'all by now? Like, catfishing? I, like, I swear, people that catfish are the weirdest people of all time, son. It, it's just, I get being incognito, but just taking someone's picture that don't know that they're being used just to portray them and, and deceive someone into believing that's actually you, but it's not? That, like, that shit... Uh, yo, a bird almost flew in my room. I almost yelled. Hold on, give me one second. I done knocked my whole camera down. All right, what was I saying? Blake, Hannah, Simone lives in yeah. Austin. All right, Bird's so how, how are we going to get Simone to be a part of this loyalty test? Okay, so all we need to do is for you to reach out to whoever you use as that picture and see what they actually be willing to participate, and we can okay. go from there. Okay, sounds good. Okay. She ain't going to want to do it. Probably not. So if she don't want to do it, then we probably have to end up telling Hannah to start a whole other account, which would be fishy as fuck, and yeah. use somebody that we can actually she use. Friends, so she might as well do it. She might do it. She might do it. She might. She might. We'll see. Yeah. Hannah eventually reached back out to us and let us know that Simone was down to do it. So we simply booked her a flight to Houston and went to pick her up. Of America. course. Why would I pass an opportunity to go viral? Simone? Yeah. How you doing? Nice to meet you. How was your flight? It was a good one. When Hannah um, told you that she used you for the test, what, like, how did you feel about that? Uh, I was a little confused. Why were you confused? Well, we haven't spoken in a long time, so I was just confused. It's some you. weird shit, yo. My things? Uh, it's just cringe. Are you nervous? Yeah. Yeah, so um, I know it's probably going to make you feel uncomfortable because you're actually meeting a stranger and you have not been in communication with him at all. So just try to do your best. We're going to be watching at all times, so you all, you will be safe. If something happens or go wrong, we'll, we'll, we'll just end it there. So Hannah texted me. She told me that Blake flight don't land until two hours from now or whatever. So we can just go grab a, a bite to eat or something, and I can brief you on everything you need to know. All right, that sounds good. Okay. So we, we parked over here. So she kind of wants to see That's is cool he only dude, entertaining man. this just because he spends so much time away from her, or would he actually act on it? So that's where we come in at. Who think who think he's gonna fail? He won't fail. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. The team was actually 100% right. Blake felt this test. He was not only entertaining the conversation he and Simone actually had through text messages, which was his girlfriend in reality. He actually took it a step further and actually came to Houston thinking he was talking to Simone. Which he was, because that's who it's Simone. he is, but he really was. <laughs> Y'all get what I'm saying? So I like the fact that they actually found the catfish, like the catfish uh, profile. You know. Uh, you, yeah, you're you exactly feel? what I expected. You blew me away by how tall you were. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. So, you know, I, I took a little risk coming out here and everything, but uh, 
How come you never wanted to like talk on the phone or FaceTime or anything? Like, you know, we always text it. So that's why I was a little skeptical coming out here and everything. Yeah, I just thought it goes to show you, bro. Like the the it goes to show you the length that most men go through for just ass. Like, he never even met her. He felt a little skeptical about her. So you conversing with someone online that refuses to let you see their face, that's not having a phone conversation where you even hear their voice, but yet you're going to take a two-hour flight to this city to go meet them? Oh, my God. We got to do better, bro. These are all the red flags that they want women about. Niggas? Man, listen, man. I'm going to find out when I get there. You hear me? We felt like we had a really good connection over text. I wonder if he's going to start picking up that that's not actually her. Maybe not. He's, maybe he's not even thinking that deep. Stop the cap. But, um, yeah, I mean, I guess everything turns out like, I mean, you, you look good. I like the way you look. I think we should definitely link up, you know, chill out tonight. AKA. Go skydiving tomorrow. Know what I'm saying? Hang out at the hotel. You know? Thank you. Yeah, you look good too. Thank you. Well, if you want, we can uh, hang out right now. We can go get some drinks or have lunch. Yeah, that sounds good. Go have like, uh, what, you got a uh, good seafood around here? There's this crawfish place I know. Okay, cool. Yeah. He ain't picking up on Get nothing. But how could he, though? Hotel, freshen up, hang out a little bit. I could definitely use a drink. Yeah, me too. So, how do you get when you start drinking? Like, can you handle your drinks? Yeah. Or do you get all crazy when you start drinking? <laughs> you know, I like to just drink and hang out, watch a movie or something. Okay. Netflix and chill. Party <laughs> shit. Yeah. We sent Simone an address to the restaurant on where to take Blake, being that she had no idea where she was going because she was not from Houston. All we needed her to do was to buy some time till tomorrow so Hannah could arrive and confront him, but things started to go left quickly. The weather is nice outside. I'm here for left. Yeah, it is. I'm here for left. I see so I like Here? Yeah. It's so crazy. Let me show you. Let me show you. You see my antennas. My antennas have been like, huh? What you mean? I just took a two hour flight. I can't get a kiss. No. He ain't asking for no ass now. What do you mean? In that moment, I missed exactly what happened, even though I was listening to the audio. I you and me both. I hear what was going on, but I can tell from Simone's face, she was very uncomfortable. I told you. You're not on that, or like what? No, I just wanted to make sure you get started with your meal a little bit more. You just That's why I'm just doing too much. That's what it is. Meal. I just, we've all we've been doing is texting. Yeah, but I mean, like, way we're texting and shit is not really lining up with how how you're acting right now. But I mean, yeah, that's just what I gotta say. I'm just pointing it out. Let me at least get my damn bag or something. Yeah, you would've, like, been I would've been confused. Now, nah, but he valid. He probably was, like, flirting. Me out here, I mean, just do what? Do nothing. What were you Like, I thought we already, uh, you expecting to do? I guess I was expecting more out of you than, than I, I mean, come on now. Yeah. See you later. You really brought me out here just for nothing. Like, I feel like the way we're texting and shit on the phone, you don't really line up with how you act. But where's his main you're shorty? About doing this and that and everything, and I get out here and you just acting all fucking weird. I feel like we just don't fit. We gotta get to know you. He's valid in what he's saying. I don't know what happened. I literally wanted to go up to the car and ask Simone exactly what happened because I could not hear clearly. 
So I had to sit tight because Blake was literally still sitting there waiting on his Uber. But eventually the Uber came and I was able to go ask her and this is exactly what she said. What happened? I can't do this. Um, he's looking at me like he knows me and I can't portray the feelings that we've been texting about because I wasn't the one texting him. He's coming on strong and I don't know what to do. For sure. So, um, Valid. are you like completely out of it? Like tomorrow, Hannah's is supposed to arrive and y'all was supposed to go skydiving. So, are you calling quits with all, everything or are you just done with today? I'm calling quits. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. I, I can't do it. I respect that. So, um, do you want to go back to Austin today or do you want to stay till tomorrow? Just let me know what I need to do to make you more comfortable. Uh, I'll go back to Austin today. Okay, that's fine. So, um, so he's expecting me to stay the night, so. Huh? He was expecting me to stay the night. He was definitely picking up on your energy because you was kind of like deflecting everything. But um, we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to my assistant about booking you a flight, and uh, we'll just go from there. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. She though. valid. I, I can't even knock her because she don't so know him. Quits, right. I really don't blame her. It was a very uncomfortable situation for her, and I really didn't think that out enough to anticipate that Blake would come off that strong. So I'll most definitely take accountability for that. But regardless of her backing out, we still have to push forward because Hannah still will be arriving tomorrow. Blake doesn't know that Simona's going home, so Hannah was instructed to keep texting Damn, him she should have been there. Was normal. The reservation for skydiving is still set for tomorrow, so we will proceed as nothing happened. And instead of Simone being there, Hannah will be waiting front and center at the bottom when he lands. Today's test will take place in Houston at Skydive Spaceland because Hannah, a.k.a. Simone, told Blake if he were to ever come to Houston, she would take him skydiving. And ever since, Blake's been obsessing over the idea of going. I was going skydiving. I guess she didn't think the test would actually get to this point. So now that she has already said that through text messages, we had to bring that to life. We already know where we're taking Blake to skydive at. So when we get there, we're going to arrive way early before them so we can establish our shots and all of that. Look, hold on. I got to see a hypothetical. You all skydiving? You don't gotta skydive. You're not skydiving. Are you paying attention? You said we go to skydive. You're not skydiving. Okay. That looks like a good question, though. <laughs> this man is the only one that's going to skydive. I reached out to Nick, the head manager over at Skydive Spaceland, and all we have to do was sign waivers so we can actually be at the landing stages. We have walkie talkies so we'll be in communication with each other, but make sure they add up the volume where if he's around, he does not hear it. I ain't go front. For this competition, would y'all skydive? That's devotion. Right, I see him. I see him. Make sure you're in position, bro. You hear me? Christian, this is where you come in at. Because Blake is actually jumping out of a plane, he got to go through Side it. Side note, it's always the most eeriest thing when you're being followed and you have, like, no awareness of being followed. Like, this is now day two where they know this guy's whole schedule and he doesn't even know what's going on, son. It makes you wonder who recording you when you're not watching, bro. Of course. So while he's going through that course, which may take up to 45 minutes to an hour, Christian, you will be booking into the airport, getting Hannah. So, you cannot be late. You're Hannah? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Christian Jack TV. Nice to meet you. All right. Hannah, Lou. Hannah's getting to the airport late because that's the quickest flight she can get. Oh, I can grab a bag for you. Thank you. No problem. This shit's fucking ridiculous. I shouldn't have fucking come out here to do this, to be honest. Not 100%. No. We're here. Communication, that's why communication. I'm not trying to so hear this. It's just that easy. <laughs> oh, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. Blake is about to jump out of a plane at 14,000 feet and have no idea that his girlfriend will be waiting at the bottom when he lands to confront him. Stay tuned. Your boy Gabos is here for the mess. This guy have no idea that his girlfriend is standing literally right here. skydiving in jeans? still don't know at this moment. I'm throwing some sweats. How'd they get this camera on the plane? Mm. Or how'd they get this footage to include in this content? They ain't skydiving. Mm. Nuts. Jeez, man. I ain't going for a skydiving was always on my bucket list of things I wanted to do in life. I've outlived that dream. I'm good, bro. It look lit though. Hey, let's go! I'm out here sleeping with these. Uh oh! That man was trying to get him some ass and jump out of a plane. 
Hey, listen, man, that's a full life in a weekend. How'd they get their hands on this footage? Damn, son, he's living his best life right now. And they waiting to crush his dreams. Ah! Uh, ah! Blake! Oh, nah. Bruh. You start seeing me? Yeah, I am. <laughs> be like, take me up! So what are you expecting? Take me up! Who? Come on. Come on. Who? Oh. Oh. Come on, who? Man, come on. Look. Are you fucking kidding me? Chill out. Relax. I have to people. fucking travel all the way out here to find your Three. cheating ass. So, Blake, the whole entire time you've been on a loyalty test, bro. Soon you got to Houston, you've been on a loyalty test the whole time. Simone does not like you. She was texting you the whole entire time. And you fell right into it. Redondito, pinche pendejo. Oh, translation! Translation! Now, now, here, you gotta hear me out because I'm the one in fucking control right now, okay? Oh, really? Yes. I am fucking control because I'm the one that fucking caught you. Don't forget that shit. Turn the cameras on, man. No. Everybody here, listen the fuck up. Este pendejo, fucking cheater. Piece of trash, bro. I should have left your ass a month ago. Damn. Like, who else do you think we were talking to, huh? Who else do you think you were talking to? It just makes you feel like sometimes you can't win, man. My brother can't even skydive in peace. Even when he lands, it's an argument, bro. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, bro. Is it cheating, though? Yes, it was fucking me. You think you can do better? You're too scared to talk to me? Is that what it is? He's putting it together right now. Oh, really? Oh, I'm so glad I fucking ruined this whole month for you because honestly, you don't deserve this or anything else after this. Really? Yes. You piece of shit. Like, the fuck? Like, it's that bad that you have to come all the way out here to do that shit? Seriously? I mean, the location is irrelevant. I it, came out here to skydive. It doesn't fucking matter. It's the fact that you were fucking, you fucking cheating. It's okay. That's a, okay. It's okay. You mind me to do my thing? It's really on you for invading my space, coming out here and setting me up. some better mics, this yo. This is all you, isn't it? Ain't this all you? You set it up? You know what, Blake? After this, I hope everybody here realized the type of person you fucking are. You piece of shit, you fucking used me for my apartment. I took care of you. I I paid for solving some of your shit. You fucking broke ass. I'm broke. I paid for this. What are you talking about? You should have fucking paid for this. <laughs> oh my god. Like You're I ridiculous. Said, You're literally fucking ridiculous. You obviously did not pay for this. No, he so. fucking didn't. I can't talk to you like this. You, you, we'll stay right here. You, you just go ahead and get conversation with him if you want to. Right. Go, go over there. Bruh. You want to talk? Yeah, let's talk. Let's right, talk. I just don't fucking understand why you would even like, even like entertain the idea of you talking to somebody else. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Cause he's I a man. So much for you. I, and I know you have, and I'm sorry. Like, I really am. I don't fucking understand. I don't know why you. I mean, you don't want to set me up. I don't know why. Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> because I didn't fucking trust you. <laughs> and, like, I didn't want this shit to happen. Like. Look, I'm sorry. No, right? don't, don't touch me right now. I'm don't sorry, touch me. Okay? <laughs> like, Look, just I how can I, right. I, how can I trust better. you after this? I can't. I really don't like, know. I it's, can't. It's just going to take time. You're just going to have to trust me. That's. <laughs> That's not how you fix shit. How, how would you like me to fix it? Cause she I, don't got an answer. I can't answer. think of anything right now other than moving forward. I just can't believe you fucking you flew know. from a fucking city to here to meet with a fucking bitch that wasn't fucking me. Like, I, I've done so much for you, and, and this is how you fucking repay me. Like, I really, I don't fucking get past this. I really don't. 
No. 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 Please, please leave me alone. Leave me alone. I go. Oh. I'm. I'm done. I'm done. We're done here. Really? We're done. That's just how it is. Thank y'all. Fuck you. Done. <laughs> Yo. I'm telling you, man. I'm a sick individual, man. I never get tired of watching people get cheated on, man. Is it funny? No. Nah, not Sometimes it is, man. When they get caught, it's funny, man. My brother can't even skydive to avoid an argument, even when I come back to Earth. Just a definition of not being able to get away from an angry woman. If that was a moment, we just witnessed it, bro. <laughs> My son is stressed. Is she gonna leave him? Probably not. Eventually, but not right away. You know what I mean? Like they're gonna have their conversations behind closed doors, and you know how it is. Like, like we break up, we make up situationships, mess around a couple of more years, and then we finally reach. A point where we were like, yeah, we can't trust each other. It's over. So it is what it is, man. People get you on every day. I uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in to Jack TV. That's my boy, man. Like his content is fire. Check it out if you want. But yeah, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Son, uh, lesson of the day. Um, what is the lesson of the day? Make sure your girlfriend doesn't know what city you're skydiving in. That's all I got for you. My bad.